welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here with another magic band video. As you guys may know, I have several magic band videos. Make sure you guys check them out. But I'm here to do more of a magic band updates video because things keep changing. Prices keep changing. What the box is going to be like keeps everything just keeps changing. So we're just going to redo basically the magic band video and I'm going to tell you all about the magic band, kind of how you get a magic band, who gets a magic band, what is in magic band boxes. That's right. I have two unboxings to do on top of that. And I'm going to tell you guys about your other options in case you decide magic bands are not for you. Sound good? All right, let's get started. First thing is, oh, Nina, what is a magic band? What is this magic band you keep talking about? Well, this is a magic band. It's a silicone based bracelet, essentially, that you wear on your wrist. They basically house all the information and things that you might need when you're staying, you know, when you're going on a Disney World, I said world, Disney World vacation. So it will be your resort room key. It holds your park tickets. When fast passes return, meal plan returns, all of that is clickable on the Magic Band. Anytime you really need to open something or click something, it's on the Magic Band. So these are extremely handy, absolutely love the Magic Band. So who can actually get a Magic Band? Well, everyone, everyone and anyone can actually purchase a Magic Band. But here's the key factor here. Only those staying at a resort property can get the reduced price Magic Bands. So that's really the difference. But anyone can go to Shop Disney, buy a Magic Band, anyone can go to the theme parks and go get a Magic Band. So now this brings me to, Nina, if I'm staying on resort, Disney Resort property, how do I get a Magic Band? So basically, how do I order a Magic Band? Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have the My Disney Experience app. It's the app that links to your Disney World account. You also need to actually be staying on Disney property. So you need to have already booked your trip. You can't be thinking about booking your trip. You can't be almost booking your trip. It has to actually be booked. So when you're on the app or in any of your Disney accounts, you actually have to go in and link your reservation, basically telling the app that you are indeed booked. Now, once that happens, you can go in and customize your Magic Band. So how do you do that? I'm gonna show you here on the screen, but I'm gonna walk you through the process, and this is how you do it on your phone, on the actual app. So you open up the app, right? And in the bottom right-hand corner are three little lines. You want to click on those lines. You want to then scroll up. It kind of says welcome and whatever your name is and it talks about tickets and passes and my plans and blah blah blah. You want to scroll up until you get to my profile. Click my profile and instantly it's going to pop up a bunch of options. One of those options are magic bands and cards. This is it right here guys. Click Magic Band and Cards. It's gonna take you to another page where it's gonna talk about customizing your Magic Band or looking at your existing Magic Band should you have been to the parks before. Obviously, we're talking about new Magic Bands, so go ahead and click my new Magic Band. Then it's gonna pop up a prompt for you to go to a different page. You say yes. It's as simple as that. Once you do that, it lists your reservation, it lists who's in your party, and at that point you have the chance to select who gets a magic band, what color your magic band will be, and vice versa. There's even an option to decline. So if mom wants a magic band but kiddo doesn't, or vice versa, this is your chance to do that. So this is where the differences or the big changes have come into play. Previously to 2021, Magic Bands have always been free. If you were a resort guest, Magic Bands were complimentary. Starting 2021, Disney says no, they're going to be $5. So that's when I put out my most recent Magic Band video because I was showcasing all the different options you could get for $5. Then a few months back, 
Disney secretly changed them to $10. So Magic Bands, and I say this because I get this comment all the time, guys, are no longer $5. They are $10 for the cheapest ones, you know, the simple basic colors. Here's an example, we'll go over that. Those are $10 with the option to get a $15 one, a $20 one, a $25 one, depending on if you want any characters or whatnot on your magic band. Now I'm gonna let you guys know right now, supply is limited. I don't know what's going on with magic bands, but the primary rainbow colors that you used to be able to get, the like true red and orange and yellow and all that stuff is gone. Then they put out these kind of muted or kind of other than primary colors. Here I've got like a pastel green and like an olive green. So you can no longer get those true primary colors. And even now the colors that they had put out, there was like a raspberry and a purple and a black. You can't get those anymore either. So I don't know if they're actively just selling them out or if they're gonna replace the colors and change. But either way, I don't know what's going on with those in terms of the colors, but it's kind of one of those things where I suggest you act fast because I just don't know what's going on with all the color options. But should we do an unboxing? Should we get into it? Have I answered some of the questions so far? Because believe me, I'm gonna talk about them some more. So first thing is, I, we have already ordered our magic bands for our trips for this year. I showed that in my previous video. We each got magic bands and we plan on using them for all of 2021 because I don't feel the need to spend $10 per person again. Magic bands are good for about 18 months, so there's no need to really get them for every trip. However, the last time I talked about magic bands for you guys to give you a little update, I noticed they had a really cool looking magic band. So of course Nina had to buy it. So that's what we're gonna unbox right now. I'm really, really curious what's in this box. I'm gonna talk about it right now. Traditionally inside the box, you would get luggage tags and magical extra cards. I will show you what that is. But starting 2021, Disney said, no, it's not coming in the box. However, many people, you guys included, let me know that you actually got yours in your box. So I really don't know what to say, guys. I did not get them in my box, but apparently some people are getting them in their boxes. So at this point, it's not really a black and white yes or no issue. It's kind of a, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna get in our box. So let's open this up and actually see what's in here because I'm, beyond curious. So again, I haven't opened it yet, so we're gonna open it together. First thing is, there we go. Can you guys see that? It's sparkly, or at least it should be. So this is my Magic Band box. It says it right there. And there's these two like pockets on the side. We're gonna see what's in these areas. First thing, it says Magic Band information. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. And it is indeed uh, Magic Band information, talking about the Magic Band, if you uh, have a pacemaker, all those kind of uh, things are discussed in here, which you can read when you get uh, your Magic Band. So that stuff is in there. On the other side is nothing. The other side is when you would normally find your luggage tags. So it doesn't look like I got those in my box. So I'm gonna pull out my band. You literally just kind of slip it out. And here it is right here. You guys kind of see the glitteriness of it all? It's very cool. It says Mermaid N because Mermaid Nina is just too long. Now if you take your Magic Band box and you flip it around, it's actually gonna give you instructions on how to take this band and turn it into an adult size. So we're gonna go over that right now. So right now, I'm just gonna show you using a different band. This is an adult size Magic Band. They come this way. You see it, it has the gray piece right here, this extra piece. This is the adult size. How you make it a child size is you rip off 
this gray piece. You literally get your finger in here and you rip it off and you just pull it off and you end up with this like long, weird kind of stringy piece. Now the part that was inside here is the kid size. You guys see that? So this is the difference between an adult band and a kid's band. You actually just adjust them. Can you guys see the difference there? It's hard to show, but it's missing like a whole couple of inches to make it to fit a smaller wrist versus a larger wrist. But it actually gives you the instructions on the back of your box. Many people seem to miss out on that. So if you bought these for kiddos, don't forget to rip that gray part off so that they fit your kids a little bit better. Of course, inside here is a very big receipt. We're gonna see what it says. It just says that I got this sparkly black Black Magic Band and that's it. But I can tell you my Magic Band, this one was $15. They still have it left. They still have it on the site right now. They even had like a gray sparkly one. I think they also had a pink sparkly, but that one is gone at this moment. So yeah, that's technically what's in my box. That was it. Nothing else in here. But I mentioned something called Magical Extras. So. People are wondering now, well, Nina, if I'm not getting my luggage tags in my Magic Band box, and if I'm not getting my Magical Extra card, when do I get those? This is when you get them. So I know this sounds weird. <laughs> After you get to Disney, you've already arrived, you can go to the check-in booth at your resort and ask for your luggage tags and Magical Extras card. They're gonna give you this envelope, at least this is what it looked like when I got it. You open up the envelope and inside are, your I'm gonna to try to show it to you guys without it falling everywhere, are your luggage tags, those are luggage tags right there, magical extras card, more luggage tags, because like I said, we're a party of four. So it includes your luggage tags plus the little you know, plastic pieces. So that's in there. And then here's your magical extras card, which now is like a paper card that you have to kind of rip out. It used to be more like a plastic, like a credit card. It's now more of a paper card. And then inside here, it does show you your uh, vouchers for mini golf, wide world of sports, and then a few of the areas where you can receive a discount. This is all in this sheet of paper that comes in this little blue envelope that you pick up at your resort. So the things that have changed between say 2019, 2020 to 2021 is essentially magic bands are not free. You do have to pay for them. Currently the price is $10, but that really could change at any time. So don't quote me on this because next week, who knows, Disney might secretly raise them to $15. And again, that $10 price is for the solid basic color bands, not for your funsy bands. Um, like I said, my sparkle one was $15. And instead of getting the luggage tags and the magical extras in your box, you now pick them up at the resort. But again, I know some of you have been getting like a fluke box, good for you, that includes these in your box. Again, you're supposed to get them separately, but it's Disney, I, I don't even know. Okay, so I showed you guys the luggage tags, the magical extras. I showed you the kid size, how to take an adult size and turn it into a kid size. Now, what if you already have several magic bands or maybe you within your own family wanna kinda swap out bands? Maybe mom got, you know, just gonna generically list colors here. Mom got purple, daughter got raspberry, dad got olive, some other kid got gray and you kinda wanna switch them and mix them up. Well, this is what I'm gonna talk to you guys about. The centerpiece of the magic band, we're gonna call the puck. The puck is special to you, to you alone, only you, can use the puck, it is identified for you, for your tickets, your resort, whatsoever. You can remove the puck and put it in a different band. Essentially, what I've got going on right here. So I took the orange puck and switched it with the yellow puck and exchanged the bands. So you can do this. Question is, 
How? How do you do this? You take a very tiny screwdriver, almost like the kind you would use for glasses, and there's two itty bitty screws in the back of the puck. You take the screws out and you end up with just the puck. Then you put the puck in whatever device you want. Device, what do you mean device? I thought I was gonna put it back in my magic band. Well, Disney sells these type of devices for people who don't wanna wear the magic band. Perhaps they wanna wear it on a lanyard or they wanna connect it to their belt loop or their purse. So they have these things that are essentially puck holders. They have them on the website right now. I think they're Minnie Mouse. But you essentially would take your puck and you would put it inside this holder. Well, when my son was younger, he wouldn't wear the bracelet. So of course I went to Etsy and I found an Etsy company who makes puck holders that are character themed. So here's his, it's Wally. Inside, as you can see, is a puck. So there's different ways to use these magic bands that are not necessarily a bracelet. So just note that I got a lot of comments from people that would say, I'm not getting a magic band, my kid won't wear it. I get that, I 100% get that. I'm just showing you what the other options could be. Let's move on. So colors, I kind of touched on this already, but I'm gonna go back. When Magic Bands first came out, they were in rainbow colors, primary colors, that red, orange, yellow, green, blue, right? Those have seemed to completely disappear and that Disney put out those other colors, those more secondary kind of off colors, those olives and um, they had like a periwinkle, a raspberry, a deep purple, black, white, different colors of Magic Bands. So it appears you can no longer get the primary, but you can get these other kind of secondary different type of colors. And you can get magic bands that have characters on them or words on them or whatever. So you go on the website and you just look, you choose, you select, you pay, you get. Your box ships within about two to three weeks from purchase because they have to process it, they have to accept the payment, they have to ship it, but it takes a good 10, plus days, let's just put it that way. So you definitely wanna order it in advance for your trip. Hopefully you're with me so far. So I get a lot of people who ask me, well Nina, are Magic Bands going away? What's going on with Magic Bands? Here's the scoop, nobody knows. Disney is not saying, but one has to wonder the fact that you can no longer get the basic colors, which most people want, the fact that they keep raising the price and the fact that there isn't a lot of options to choose from, it does make me wonder if they are slowly phasing out magic bands. So I'm not gonna say that Nina knows for sure because I don't, but my gut feeling is that yes, they are slowly phasing out the magic band, which is another reason why I quickly wanted to buy mine because I don't think they're gonna phase out the device to use the magic band necessarily but they might slow down how easily it is to get the bands, how many options you're gonna have. I think they're kind of, at least that's how I feel. Eventually, who knows, maybe we'll all just get gray. <laughs> I don't know, but yes, that is my gut feeling is that Magic Bands will not be here to stay forever and ever. I think we could be moving on from them. Just a thought. Next question I get all the time is, Nina, what other options do I have in case I don't want a magic band? Or what if I'm staying off property and I'm only going to the park for one day or two days? Do I really, really need a magic band? Okay, let's get into it. First of all, I already said magic bands are good for roughly 18 months. There is a battery life in there that you can't swap out or change. So depending on how old your magic band is, it may still be good, it may not be good, which is why we bought brand new magic bands at the beginning of the year to use them for the entire year because I know they're gonna be good at least for about 18 months. But if you decide not to spend the 10 plus dollars to get everyone a magic band, you do have options. So if you're staying on Disney property or if you just wanna get tickets, you absolutely need some form of hard ticket as an option. So you can go, if you're staying at Disney Resort property, go to your resort uh, check-in booth and ask what's called a key to the world card. It's essentially a hard card. Here we go, here are the options. They're a hard card 
that you can choose from. They have Mickey, Goofy, Daisy, Donald, Pluto, and Minnie. And on the back of the card is an ability to scan. So when you need to get into your room, if you need to do anything based at your resort and park tickets and whatnot, you would just have to constantly scan this card. I will say that's rather annoying if you have multiple people, if you're staying for a longer trip, when fast passes come back to constantly have to keep getting out your card to scan is annoying. So basically Magic Bands replaced the key to the world card is essentially what happened. So this was kind of the original thing with some hard based plastic ticket thing. They replaced that with these. Then they said, guess what? We're gonna sort of, not to replace Magic Band, no one said the word replace. It's just my gut feeling. Um, we're gonna put out something called Magic Mobile. Magic Mobile is the ability to use your cell phone to enter the park. It basically is a way to house your tickets and to scan your phone instead of a Magic Band or a Key to the World card. Now, Magic Mobile is something you have to set up. You physically have to go in there. Same area as the Magic Bands and cards. There is a little clicker thing. After the three dotted lines, when you got to that first page, there is something that says Magic Mobile. You click that, you set it up. So that is an option. The only downside to Magic Mobile is you can't do room charges yet, meaning you can't buy a bunch of food and just charge it using your phone to your room. You might be able to charge to a credit card, depending on what you have set up within your own phone, but you can't have it sent to say your room charges as you can with a Magic Band. The other thing I don't like about Magic Mobile is my phone kind of always has to be charged and ready, right? Plus it's based on Disney's IT system. And if I know anything as a travel agent is their technology often has glitches. So a lot of people have been complaining that their app or the Magic Mobile wasn't working. And so they're flustered, they're trying to find a cast member, they're trying to figure it out and it's just not working. So my advice is to make sure you have at least two out of the three options. If you really, really wanna do Magic Mobile, that's great, try to get <laughs> at least a key to the world card as a backup, or at least bring your old Magic Band as a backup. There's no reason why you can't use all three of these or a combination of these things in case one thing fails, but they are still working on Magic Mobile. They are still beefing up the system. And right now it does work for iPhones, Androids, and the Apple Watch. If you're gonna use it for an Android, you do need to have Google Pay working on your phone. So hopefully that kind of answers some questions in what your, what your options are, how you get a magic band, how you get the discounted magic band, why you wouldn't get a discounted magic band, and all those things. So it all comes into, Nina, do I really need a magic band? I kind of answered that. My, my thought is yes. Unless you're staying off property for one day, in which case you can just get a paper, you know, you can just get the plastic ticket. I say yes, if you're a family of four plus and you're staying on property for a week, the magic bands are just that much easier. And the kiddos love to scan their band. I can't tell you how fun it is for my kids to enter the park scanning in their own bands. And if fast passes do return, they might be you know, on the Magic Band like they used to always be. So every single time you go through a ride queue and you gotta scan in for your fast pass, it is so much easier to just scan your Magic Band than it is to constantly get out these cards. Now, once they beef up Magic Mobile, it might be something as simple as mom and dad have it on their phone and they just click and it shows up for everyone in the whole party. That could, that could happen, guys. But for now, I'm, I'm just pro Magic Band. I just am. So, you guys noticed I have two Magic Band boxes. Let's open the second one. So for some of you, you might not be interested in this, but I'm gonna show you because some people might be curious. I am an AP, I'm an annual pass holder. And up until this point, pass uh, Magic Bands have been free to us. So we would always get complimentary Magic Bands. Usually they were gray. <laughs> and then they said, now we can pick out colors, which is great. And then an announcement came out that said starting August, 2021, 
Magic bands will no longer be complimentary, even for annual pass holders, which means now, you know, past August 2021, we're gonna have to pay for magic bands. So I was like, ugh. So I went ahead and got another set of magic bands. Again, these ones were free, but it's because I'm an AP. I haven't opened the box. I don't even know what's in here. I'm hoping my annual pass cards are in here too, but let's check it out together just in case you are also an AP. So again, I'm ripping it for the first time. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. This is the difference between the two boxes. Mine says annual pass holder. Here's our bands. Only three out of the four of us are APs. I wanted to get my husband an AP, but because they're not doing new APs right now, you can only get a renewal to your subscription. My husband is still not an AP. Okay, so inside here, one thing says pass holder. And what does this side say? Magic slider. So let's open this up. So first thing in here is thank you for being a pass holder. So it has my pass holder information. I'm assuming this is our discounts. Oh, how to use the pass. It talks about enjoying my fast passes. Uh, that's not a thing. So I think it's essentially what the other paper said that was in the regular box. It's just a different color. But yeah, that's what that is. The other side says magic slider, which is great. So we get um, little protections for our magic bands to help them so they don't slide off. I got three since we have uh, three magic or three magic bands. This is what they look like. Here's an older one. They help it so the magic bands don't pop off. If you have seen my Amazon shopping video, I found uh, these type of things that you can buy for your own magic bands without them being the official Disney pass holder bands. So you just open the box and again, it's the same thing. It shows it has our magic bands and then it has um, the how do you turn them into a kid size band. Um, it looks like our cards aren't in here. So it looks like I still have to call it um, annual pass holder services and figure out where our you know, our actual cards are. But yeah, that's our magic band. Anyway, so you guys wanna know what I found was interesting was, I don't know if you guys noticed, but our AP bands came in this basic purple. That is not an option for regular guests. It was only an option in the APs. In fact, we had all the primary colors, the red, orange, yellow, green, the whole rainbow. We had the option to choose from. So I find it really odd that they're giving APs the, you know, the basic rainbow Skittle colors and the other people are getting these other options. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys, but I find it very interesting. Again, if you're an AP, uh, you need to pick your magic band before um, August 21st is the last point to renew and get the complimentary magic bands. After that, we will get discounted magic bands, which I assume the same price as everyone else. So my takeaway in all of this is I don't know guys, I love magic bands. I'm gonna keep buying them until I can't. I am not completely sold on Magic Mobile yet. I will try it out here in a few weeks, but I'm not really sold. And the idea of constantly carrying around a key to the world card just doesn't sound fun to me unless you are one person and you're only going for a day or two. But if you're a resort guest, again, you're staying for a week, you got multiple people in your party, I love the Magic Band, they are so easy, especially if and when the meal plan and fast passes come back. But in the end, I hope you guys found this video helpful and at least I hope that I've updated you at least to the differences of what's going on with Magic Bands. It does appear that the only big difference between now and my last video is that they raised the price from $5 to $10 and the colors and options have changed a little bit. In fact, it does feel like you get less options now than you did before. So yeah, it kind of is what it is, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray. Hit the bell icon for notifications, like this video, and comment. Did I finally put out a magic band video that answers all of your questions? I'm hoping I did. I really, really tried really hard, guys, on this video to think about all the questions you guys have asked me from the previous Magic Band videos, and I tried to answer them all 
here. So anyway, guys, comment. Let me know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't. But as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina out. Oh, <laughs>